the back. Hey, that that was with the illegitimate fatigue. <laughs> illegitimate fatigue. Illegitimate. Or so it, it was like full Teague. Yeah, I get it. Ha! <laughs> and that was an early one for you folks. Word. And welcome back to your favorite podcast. It's your the favorite. Physics study group. Word. Just a quick knee slapper just to get things going. Yeah. Always. To and break who, the ice. And who was that oh, to, to my right hand side? Give me five. Oh, that me. Yeah. <laughs> who that boy? Who him is? Yeah. Jormatic. A.K.A. Wave Chappelle. How you doing tonight? Mm. Morning, evening, noon, midday, same thing. Whenever you day. <laughs> Where, wherever the sun. Getting ready to eat. Where, wherever the sun is in relation to your location on the earth. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sir Black Sun the Third, aka Flock of Zulu, aka Pablo Escovich, or aka that nigga over there. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Search no further. That nigga over there is over here right now, right here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes, sir. Oh, it's me. It's me up. I'm up at the back. Yes, yeah, sir. man. So I just flew all the way in from Miramar all hey. the way over to Miami. Ooh. Hey. Special guest know. people. Yes, sir. This is the real Paul Morris, a.k.a. Dr. Sticky Fingers, a.k.a. <laughs> Professor Nuts, a.k.a. <laughs> Who did it? <laughs> and that's how you end the podcast. Oh, good night, man. people. Good. <laughs> hey, but thank you for being on, uh, Miss Amaris. Welcome, yeah, Mr. Respect. Sticky Fingers. Welcome, yeah, Mr. and Mr. Professor Nuts. Uh, I'm not even going to try okay. to say who did it. <laughs> hey, that's live. Hey, this might be a lit ass episode. Oh, we, we live, y'all. Hell yeah, we live. <laughs> I'm live. <laughs> It's your boy David Bomay, aka Chico Fantastico. Mm. AKA mm. Debo. What bike? What bike? Wait a minute. My bike punk. My nice. bike punk. I should add it all there. That's yeah, time. Man, I got you. I ain't seen no bike. My grandma. <laughs> what bike? <laughs> you gonna roll up on one of them low rider bikes? Twisting arm handles. <laughs> and you know who it is. It's your boy Black Dynamite, aka I seen black, aka Swiss. I'm a nigga. Swiss. I'm a nigga. Yeah. Swiss. All right, that's it. We got to start. Hey, hold we can up. do everything. And sometimes, <laughs> and still. Shabby. <laughs> Shabby Rankin. That's what I know. And people, once again, thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Yes, sir. And uh, once again, uh, we have a wonderful guest with us. Right. And we're going to get into some shit today. Mm-hmm. Shit. That's what we're like, going to get into. But we're going to clean it up after. You know, okay. Step in some shit, and you're going to clean it up. Like, we're going to clean it up. With the holes? Yeah, we're like touching that shit. No, like a real nigga, spray your hose. Oh, okay. spray your hose. Anyway, <laughs> but um, before before we get started, uh, a couple recent celebrity deaths oh, that are God. pretty significant. Uh, Della Reese passed away. Yeah, man. And you touched know, by an angel, bro. Touched by an angel. Della Reese passed that away. That infamous scene in Harlem Nights. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Fuck you, sugar. <laughs> that's, that's that's her line. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Y'all ain't know. And, um, <laughs> so I don't look uh, crazy. <laughs> forgive me for forgetting his name, but uh, the grandpa off of the Cosby Show. Mm. Off the Cosby. Cosby. Yeah, and he he was also in Thundercats. He played like the older cat. Really? Yeah, one of the older ones. Yeah, but yeah, he passed away too. I don't remember his that's name crazy. either. So and I feel bad. How you we, Well, we didn't give a. <laughs> no, no, I I, have to I appreciate you, Joe. Man. <laughs> Hey, who edited this out? Let us he said the grandfather from Bill Cosby. <laughs> show. <laughs> Nigga, that that Bill Cosby. Respect, <laughs> just, <laughs> no, 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 no. Cut that out. <laughs> Cut that <laughs> shit out. <laughs> Wait, was it that Bill Cosby? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he said, hey, the grandfather from Bill Cosby. He the, he, he the, he the I, grandfather. I, I don't know. That moment of silence was I real. I thought Bill Cosby was the grandfather. You talking about Ben Stiller's dad from Everybody Loves Rain. Wait, what? I'm joking. See, I, show we, us. No, no offense. <laughs> no offense to Ben Stiller's dad. I don't remember his first name, but uh, uh, Frank. Frank Stiller. No, his name was Frank. R.I.P. By the, the way, show, are you googling? It? Please tell me you googling. I am. Yeah, okay. yeah. No, who's cutting all this? We got a terrible. Hey, and one person we did not mention. Um, uh, R.I.P. Lil Peep. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah we yeah, didn't yeah, talk yeah, about R. this. R. R. Um, but R.I.P. to Lil Peep, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, Earl. Um, Earl Hyman. Earl Hyman. All right. So yeah, him. Back, so. Earl Hyman. All right. No, there's no we. Oh, wait, hold up. That's <laughs> shout out to shout out to Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, for drugs. making a genuine effort, it seems. 
uh, you know, it, like he's making a genuine effort to try to kick that shit that he know ain't good for him. Cause all no, this, no, no, that's the one all this thing. drug culture. Because you know, we already, you know, you know, we've talked about it before. Hip hop's moving from drug uh, selling to drug using yeah. culture in the music, and um, it's unfortunate because shit's happening to these kids out here, man. Right. Yeah, like we're they're dying. Thing. They're ruined. They're getting you know chemically imbalanced. You know, uh -huh. there's other things aside. Like death is. The worst, but there's other things that can happen to you, man. Yeah. Right. Perceiving death, yeah. or or no or pre, effects. you know, or a premature death. You know, you know, dying before you probably should have. Yeah, before your time. Way before your time. Uh, yeah, how, old was, how old was how old Peep? Oh, he was like 19, I think. No, right? he was like 21, 20. I think. Yeah. Nah, he was not even like he. I don't even think he was even 21. I think he was like 20, 19, 20. That's crazy. I gotta though. double check that, but I mean, still that that age right there, he's. He was a kid, man. Yeah, no, That's, no, of course. I, no, I agree. It's I, crazy I agree. because he's accomplished so much. Yeah, and mm -hmm. he and he, he kind of got robbed of the chance to accomplish some more. Yeah, because you know yeah. I mean? little brother saying it's an accident and shit. I'm yeah, like, damn, bro. Yeah, that's the worst. Like he 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 wasn't trying to commit suicide. Yeah, just having a little accident. fun. Yeah, or whatever it may be. But yeah. hey, rest in peace, little peep. Gotta yeah. be thankful. Man. Yeah, if y'all get a chance, check out his music, man. It's it's emotional. Okay. It's uh, emotional. I'll put it I'll put it that much. And some of these dudes is crying are crying for help in their music too. So Yeah. You can um, definitely hear and it. he was definitely one of them dudes. I mean, come on man, look at some of the hits on the radio, but I ain't gonna go on that tangent yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we, we kinda went all over the place already. Yeah. Yeah. And we haven't even got to what we was gonna talk about. Gonna I'm talk excited about. though, yeah. 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 I'm excited. Yeah, it's a pretty good weekend. Yeah. You know what I mean? We get to eat uh, some food tomorrow. Oh man, I'm yes, gonna fall into a coma. Man. Some food. I'm gonna eat all the oh, food. All <laughs> food tomorrow. You're right. You're all right. the food <laughs> getting ate. I stand corrected. <laughs> yes. And oh. by the time y'all hear this, y'all probably would have packed on about four or five pounds. Mm -hmm. And you probably oh yeah the fifth lunch plate. You know the what food, I mean? The yeah. food. The food. You is probably just, hating yourself. Yeah. The food yeah. is probably just passing right by the time. <laughs> no question. By the time you you're about it. to completely lose yeah. your summer body. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's the all day. All that work. All yeah. that for all that for Thanksgiving, baby. It is. It is the night. It is the eve of Thanksgiving. Yeah. 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 Well, let me get this out the way. My mic. Hold up. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> quick. And we're random back. question. Uh. -huh. How long, sorry, what's the oldest leftovers you've ever eaten? Oh. Seven days, I think. Shit. This yeah. Is the if it was in the freezer, a little longer probably. You mean purpose? Yeah. Purpose on purpose? Like how, how <laughs> long? <laughs> or out of well, necessity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a category <laughs> better, of shit that's just going to get better, left the shit that I better you saved. A <laughs> better question is how long has the leftovers lasted? That's. And in my household, not, not very long. Like well, four or five days. What my pops would do was like, you know, make like make the leftovers with something else. Or Other shit, stuff. You know, okay. Dress it up and shit. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. a oh. smart way. That's yeah. that's oh, a Jamaican way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me, me just I got cook it down in some gravy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some browning, so just I, I, <laughs> just brown the turkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but you know what goes quick and is my favorite fucking roast beef. That shit finishes so quick. Y'all get roast Wherever beef in the crib? I go, yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, roast beef is Lays. La <laughs> miss. Or, I do like a good roast beef, man. You mean talking about roast beef, the deli meat or pot roast? Well, yeah, you call it pot roast, but okay, because yeah. roast beef. Is, okay, cool. Thank you. I understand. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, I <laughs> cut roast beef. No, that, that'd be weird. Understanding has been achieved. Yeah, pot roast. Yeah. Or like prime rib. Prime rib on Thanksgiving. Excuse me, uh, uh, Forbes list over here. <laughs> oh, I mean, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just show, I'm just going through the categories. Hey, <laughs> we had, we had like a, a, a seafood, like yeah. Beef. I've heard of people doing that. That yeah. sounds lit though. Yeah. Oh, that was, sounds so good. We, we had some shrimp, we had okay. some lobster. It was, it was, it was, mm. it was, it was good. But it won't fill you up as well as. Oh yeah, oh, yeah nigga. Yeah, you're yeah. hungry like two hours later. Turkey yeah. and cranberry. And like, All right, I'm gonna go to my auntie's house. This is fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's cool because you you got room for a second plate. No, no, of course. Yeah, and you still. And that's like, always a good problem. You know, twice. Yeah. Go eat another two times. I feel you. Word. But our our Thanksgiving kind of look 
probably a little different from like the traditional American Thanksgiving. Uh huh. All right, Paul, what's your Thanksgiving looking like? What, what kind of stuff are you eating? Man, let me tell you, right? So the curry goat, though. Mm. Sheesh. Mm. That thing still. You ever see the goat time. walk through the party and then it just <laughs> end up missing? And, and you wonder why it's just so vibrant in your stomach? <laughs> Bow. It's, it's fresh. Like, like, it's like, like a ninja. I don't know, I don't know if the, the cranberry sauce is all over. That, that, is that like a national thing? I, yeah. I do cranberry you sauce. You nah, nah, tri- nah, hey, don't try me, dog. <laughs> Nigga, I will <laughs> fight you over this cranberry, hey, my nigga. Sauce and first of all, don't get that cranberry out of the can. It got to be that fresh. You know I'm oh, bougie. Yeah, it was <laughs> from a man named Cran. Berry. These <laughs> man, it's disgusting. These, these dudes about to go to fisticuffs. Hell yeah, oh, man. Hashtag fuck can, cranberry. Can, can I, he said cranberry whack, nigga. Hold on, hold on. Can, <laughs> can, I be, can I be like honest with you guys? What's up? I have never had collard greens. Either Word. Wow. Wow. Well, I mean, it's similar to Kalalu, really. That, that, does that go down in, in a traditional... Is it Kalalu? Is it kind of like... Is it, it, could it be the same thing? It's similar. Because we have Kalalu. It's wow. similar. It's both. I, I've, been, I, I've actually had a Thanksgiving where I had both. If Kalalu I'm not mistaken, some people consider collard greens the same thing as Kalalu. Oh, and then some people say it's like within the same family. It is. Kalalu, it's I think it's different. more within the same family because I think Kalalu is more fibrous, no? Oh, like, definitely. Absolutely. It's more, it's more like, <laughs> like no stemmy. Doubt. It gets yeah. right. No doubt. It gets yeah. Right. yeah. Sometimes you got to, <laughs> you know, you got to yeah, chomp down, man. Like but <laughs> depends on what batch you got, but. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, I, um, I read on Twitter. Right. Yeah. Not even gonna say his race. You already know. He tried to convince everybody mac and cheese is not an actual dish. It's not a good dish. It'll never be a good dish. It's what? Shit you made in college. Disrespectful. It made for yeah. your kids. I'm like, you just never had good mac pasta and cheese, and cheese was he, was together. He and he's like, there's so many other things you can do with elbow pasta. You know, and that's like, the best fucking thing. What, you know? Why? Please tell. Did he have any suggestions? Who the fuck are we talking about you right know, now? Like, you, like, you mac and cheese is incredible. About, like, whatever. Yeah, I was about you to know, say, who, who is this kid? That is no, you know what that, that is? is? You know what that is? Because we've uh, all had some amazing mac and cheese. That's a broken childhood. That's what that sounds like. Yeah. Exactly. Word. Yeah, no you childhood. You don't like mac and cheese. Like, Word. And you know what that is? And I, I apologize if we sound like, you know, a bunch of niggas whispering in your ear. Our equipment kind of, you know, malfunction. We kind of... Oh. Yeah, we kind of do an old school this episode. But what that is, <laughs> is one of them niggas that... um. That wanna that all that get a kick out of having unpopular opinions. Oh a yeah, troller? yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They always like anything. Just want to get a rise out of everybody. Yeah. Anything that's Instagram. universally loved, they'll be like, "This is bullshit." Yeah. And he's yeah. probably saying to their friends, "Watch what everybody say." Word. This. Game of Thrones isn't even that good. Blah blah blah. Like, Nate, shut up. I'm bored. Word. You fuck with some people. Yeah, it's those <laughs> memes of. You know, retweet this if you. Whoa, no, I'm not about to go into Game of Thrones. Talk about Thanksgiving. Nah. <laughs> caught myself. <laughs> Word. Off, hey, that true. Game of Thrones rabbit hole is very deep and very, very wide. Deep. And it's, it's dangerous. And it's dangerous. And once you go there, you are. Dangerous. Let's not go there. Then. Word. <laughs> Let's not we kind of tiptoed around the the the, the, the concept. Of so yeah. yeah, the tangential you know area. You, what's crazy about my Thanksgiving? Uh, my people, they it kind of starts in the morning. Like they'll they'll throw down some like uh, acne and saltfish yes. in the morning, mm. some but fried dumpling. I mean, some yeah. bami. Mm. I will get it going from the jump. So I mean, the jiggy. you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So it puts you in that little bit of a festive. I'm yeah. chilling with the family yeah. kind of mood. Yeah. Oh. That was the first time I, I kind of got into acne and saltfish. I went yeah. to my auntie's house because they couldn't they couldn't sell it to me before. And then my auntie she did it a certain way. And I've been a believer ever since. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a certain way you gotta do acting and sauce. Yeah. For me, like the ratio has to has to oh, be right. Yeah, because the ratio it does. is very if important. It's less than 50-50 yeah. is trash. It's trash. Like a relationship. Meaning, yeah. <laughs> exactly. it can no, it could be more acky. Than saltfish, but hey. it can never be more Before saltfish than acne. Oh. No. Or else like, it's I'm absolutely six, disgusting. Like if if it's like a 40-60 ratio, you're gonna be like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> we drop it, we drop <laughs> it jewels. <laughs> 40, it can be a one percent <laughs> ratio. We drop it jewels. Like, no, something it's 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 yo, it's you need a, it's the opposite for me. No, for acne, Steve, yeah. Really? Yeah. If it's too much if it's way more acne than saltfish, I'm like, oh, this is too much acne. Never but, in my life have I ever said that. Wow, I've never said that. If it's not 50-50, I would like the ratio to 
be in favor of the soft dick. You'll be true in four days, though. Yeah. You are 86 years old. Wow, yeah, you are an old person for real. I am pretty... I am 100. Answer this question. Years old. Answer this question. I just be, I just be going Who through Kennedy. I just be going through different realities <laughs> so, so throw people off to how old I am. Do you eat boiled dumplings by themselves? No, yes. Yes. You no. <laughs> what? what? That, that shit is delicious. What? The, the, the big fat ones? Yeah, the ones that look like um Oh. What they look like, like cells. Plates? They look like plates. Yeah, it's just like yeah. yeah, the, the dumplings look like, like blood cells. Oh, that shit is delicious. They gotta have gravy. That looks like you old too. I need, I need that looks like blood cells. cells. You, you old know, too. Kind of like circular. It do look like big oh, white yeah. blood cells. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yo, I'm not gonna oh. name them, but this guy and and, and just it, turning up his nose to things I've loved all my life. This and nigga it, said he like more sawfish than Aki. What? I'm yeah, so I confused. Can't agree with that, I'm not judging you. I'm just confused, man. I'll I'm be chewing. Like, hey, I just this no, is like I have a problem with the how much chewing you gotta do to get yeah, the food. That's that's you. my only thing. Well, I'm a I'm sausage. a texture yeah, eater too. More, yeah. But then when you have so much Aki, that's that texture isn't good either. I like fifty fifty. When the Aki too saw. When yeah, when there's yeah, too much like acne, it overripe. Yeah, <laughs> overripe. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, there's no. there's a science to acne and sawfish. Yeah. Yo, at least I don't let it everyone's get it family right. has a little twist to what they do with the acne and sawfish, right? Uh -huh. yeah. Like my dad puts like little um, red peppers. His shit come out kind of oh, like a beautiful orange though. tint. It's so delicious. Yo, orange tint. Yeah, I don't shit, even know. Bro. Sound like a wizard. Right. Amazing. But um, <laughs> like. Because my dad is a maniac on the stove, mm. he would cook both. He would cook traditional American breakfast, you know, pancakes and shit. Yeah. And then, ha like, he, he used to cook egg and salt fish for just him and my mom until nah. he realized, no, nah, that's just delicious. You got to make it for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because he think we just going to want the pancakes and everything. Yeah. But, yeah. But, it, yeah, it, but you know, people start their Thanksgiving mornings off differently. That's like the eighth time I hit my pop filter. Does right. anyone have a favorite thing or dish from Thanksgiving? Y'all looking forward to? Oh yeah. Mm. I'm I'm looking forward to the oxtail. Oh. Yes. And that stew peas. And the and the fact that I can eat both at <laughs> the same, same time. Because yeah. yeah. never without judgment. It's always there's, either or. There's yeah, there's no You're right. Time <laughs> where it's acceptable nor accessible to have stew peas and oxtail at the same time, and they complement each other surprisingly well. well. Yeah, more than you think. Yeah, imagine, Beef. imagine like when you're eating stew peas, right? Mm -hmm. Just, just imagine a, a a a loose oxtail or two just amongst oh, <laughs> the stew peas a at the party. <laughs> That is a small miracle, right? Yeah, there. Word. That's every time. They slid in the that back might door. be a medium miracle. Word. <laughs> that's a meal. That's a medium miracle. That's a meal that should be available. That, but I feel like you've been real. waiting on this since last Thanksgiving. What? <laughs> like, like, like it was such a great experience. It's like, <laughs> you cannot wait for the chance for that to happen again. Word. <laughs> my, my uncle been seasoning shit like she seasoning shit since last Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, if you could build. A perfect plate. What would you do? Oh, snap. What would you throw in there? Mm. Nothing different. I don't know, because I'm all over the place, man. No, like, all right, all right, let me break it down. Traditional Thanksgiving, things. Caribbean uh, Thanksgiving. Five, only you five things about? you can throw. No, 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 no just, 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 just. Pick from both. <laughs> no, be as gluttonous as you as you yeah, want, dog. I really love. Um, I don't know if you guys ever had jerk turkey. Yes. yes. My Excuse family me? does that every yeah, year. Yeah, fucking yeah. Yeah, Um. I don't know if they do stew peas, but stew peas is in my heart. Yes. That should have put stew peas on that. Mm -hmm. Some curry goat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, come you on. You got now. two left. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what else? Come on, y'all guys. Probably, probably some fried fish. Oh, wait some, a minute. Some, escovies. Some, es some, es some escovies. Oh, oh yeah, oh, some doggy. escovies. Yeah. That'll be and extra. And then carrot and onion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and extra burnt. Uh, sprinkle a little festival extra. on that. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. You off. crack just, that fish over like to get a cracker. Sweet with the, you know what I'm talking about? I don't know what the, what's the drink with that though. You want a bigger or you want a DG soda? Or you want no, a, I want a Corona. A Corona. Mm. Uh, it depends on what mood. It depends on what mood you in. Or oh, probably some sorrow. It could Sorrel? be in a Corona mood. Yeah. yeah. Or a Heineken mood. Because you know the sorrow. Sorrow bring, bigger Sorrel bring you into puberty, man. Hey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> sorrow makes you mad. Right. There are so many ladies right now. 
stirring a cauldron of sorrel as we speak. A oh, yes. And only the finest speak. of Caribbean ladies. Swear, shout out to y'all. We yeah. love y'all. Where? Shout out to where? y'all don't get enough shine, you know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Yeah. We y'all want to highlight y'all right about now. Word. Y'all over boiling them, what's them, them leaves or them, that, that little flower thing? Oh, no. Sorrow. <laughs> <laughs> them leaves, what? That's all I do. Hey, whatever y'all do, y'all do it. Sorrow leaves. Sorrow leaves. Yeah. Whatever you do Yo, to make you it soak happen. soak it. I, I feel like this, this is a perfect time to bring this up. Right. Uh-huh. I don't really fuck with sorrow, dog. You know, dog, get the fuck out of here, man. I don't, <laughs> I don't really fuck with it. Like, you know, you are a horrible. I had a feeling, <laughs> and I've had my friends tell me, "Oh, your parents' sorrow is delicious." I'm like, I, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, like, I, you don't I, like ginger? Have you had it? Oh no, I love ginger, but I just don't like. I just don't like. I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being scolded right now. I, I can't mean, see. Uh, like, I mean, there's, there's some sorrow. The there's some the sorrow. All these glares uh, in here. Oh my god. god. Yeah, I mean, rightfully so. You know, I'm sorry, but at the same time, I did not say it was whack. Maybe they did. I just said I don't. You said cranberry was whack. No, no, no. Hey, cranberry on turkey and all that shit. That's whack, bro. Cranberry with the right turkey gravy, mashed potato stuff in combination. Damn. You a sides ass nigga. What, are you <laughs> what do you mean? You put them all together, man. Dog, I feel I feel kind of kind of you know like a hypocrite because this whole time I've been I've been like switching sides, dog. I don't like sorrow either, but I was just but I still. Oh, I mean I don't <laughs> love it. That's I'm, cool. I'm I'm, I'm kind of blending in, but the girls them who make it, I, I'll drink your sorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I will definitely drink. I'll, your always in one. I'll drink your sorrow. Your sorrow will be drunk. <laughs> that's a new that's a that's a new line. I'll drink your for sorrow for cuffing season. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all welcome. Yeah, I'm saying I'll, I'll drink this. Uh, you make Paul your sorrow. Paul Boris and TPS. I, I told you we dropping gems tonight. Wait, that's oh, love, Lulu. I endorse the thing. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. You know, if not else, Empress. <laughs> Empress. You know, I'll drink Queenie. this. Queenie. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, my very, girl. My yeah, girl. Yeah, I got drink your sorrow, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you sound like... <laughs> <laughs> Real quick. Right. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> if you are, if you didn't already know, if you didn't already know, uh, TPSG and our lovely guest of the Caribbean did you persuasion. Call, did you just call the nigga lovely? lovely? <laughs> I was looking around like, who's the lovely guest? I got Sorry. excited. Why, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's, I feel uncomfortable and flattered. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, everybody's hair is Jamaican by some. Right, right. So we just go gloss over the fact. I'm sorry. I, I'm used to. It's, it's I'm used the, to having the ladies on. Sorry. For, yeah. for clarity, did you mean lovely? <laughs> <laughs> what did you mean when you said lovely? <laughs> well, I was on, um, but uh, <laughs> I was just, you know. <laughs> I hate you niggas so much. <laughs> but um yeah, everybody's there is um, you know, Jamaican for some yeah. reason or another. And uh, <laughs> By the okay. default. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um yeah, like jerk like it got to a point where jerk turkey was the only turkey we had. <laughs> That's like, the only turkey you should have. Yeah, my dad was doing on both. He was making regular jerk, regular jerk. He was like, fuck it, jerk. <laughs> yeah, I eat jerk turkey. Just time. jerk everything. Yeah. For real. Fuck. So we were talking about it earlier, People, like how woke is too woke? Cause <laughs> you I saw that one friend. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying. Right? Yeah. Every every holiday, everything right. is just like, why you celebrate birthdays? Cause you know Europeans it's gave y'all birthday. Right. In East well, Africa, we you know celebrated the first day of the crescent moon your child you know what yeah. i'm saying like on some weird shit did you, like, did you just put a white hill, hillbilly voice yeah it sounded like <laughs> you're a mocking one person i'm so confused right i don't now. know <laughs> but um i don't know but but like I, I saw a post um online and it was like why do we celebrate thanksgiving and da, 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 pretty much history given the history of thanksgiving like you know mm-hmm. how we know mm-hmm. it's not the you call no, it no, Thanksgiving. It, you know, it, yeah, I call it's, it's, it Holiday Hell Day. Yeah, pretty much. It's like you know g- the history of genocide and and poison, basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. However, mm-hmm. I feel like you can't be so woke to where you just can't enjoy something. Yeah. In your whole entire life. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 You know what's the um ignorance is bliss, right? 
Oh, um, oh okay. Because I've been going through that exactly. Uh-huh. Mm. The last few months, I've been thinking like, man, I, I'm that friend. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my pops been showing me them fucking conspiracy Illuminati DVDs from I was like <laughs> elementary school, man. Mm. So like the '90s, <laughs> and I was always that friend that knew some. I'm doing air quotes, y'all. Knew something. Mm. That was deeper. And I'm always thinking about the deeper meaning behind things. And sometimes, although I'm having fun and stuff, I don't think I always enjoy everything. Yeah. It should be right. Because I'm, I mean, Thanksgiving, I've, I, that's like my favorite. Mm. Probably my favorite holiday. And it's my it's the, it's the one that's the most disgusting to me. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's insane. It's like. It, if I'm not mistaken, the turkey is a sacred bird. Yeah. And we're fucking that, that eating it. Native Americans did not eat. Right, oh, were? Right. Yeah. They were like, and well, they were just like, fuck that. We're, oh, so we made it a point to be like, exactly. we this we specifically eat this. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's so good. That's why it's so healthy, man. Damn. Wow. <laughs> oh. I don't really, man, damn. I didn't really fuck with turkey too tough. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I feel like as a <laughs> meat, yeah, man. it's naturally dry. Yeah, like, no, yeah, but when it's that's cooked why you properly, it's right, delicious. Oh, yeah. He's right, though. He's also right. When, when it's, it's cooked properly, properly, it's delicious. Trust me. You want to dry it out. That's the key. Well, I was on the goat for a long time, so, you know. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Feel no, you know? Yeah, goat meat is, yeah. Yeah, goat meat, goat meat, goat meat, is, goat meat is like a treat, almost. <laughs> See, I understand where you're coming from with that, where I guess it's, I don't know, survivor's remorse, or, <laughs> you know what I mean, survivor's guilt. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, I think... It's important to understand that you weren't the person that that caused that. You see the wrongs that were done mm-hmm. at the same point in time. You don't endorse what happened, but I mean, it's what four hundred years ago, five hundred years ago. At this point, you can't possibly fix the past. Yeah, we can't, but we do endorse it and we do hide behind. You mm-hmm. not yeah. hide behind, but we definitely act as if certain things didn't happen. Like, yeah. You know, oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Is, so we just we're not gonna actually make an extra effort to make ourselves uncomfortable. Yeah, it, it's unfortunate, okay. but it's true though. I can see that. That's just yeah. the way it is. Period. So yeah. either you accept it and you can find your happiness in point, like what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Or well, just be that miserable ass friend that don't nobody want to do that in fun yeah. way. You know, don't do that. You know, it's crazy. <laughs> When you were saying, yo, you know, that, that happened like 400 years ago, so we should just let that go, you know. No, not, well, not, not, not even not, let it go. No, not let it go. But, all right, sorry, don't, don't let me, don't let me yeah, paraphrase yeah, yeah. it. Say how you, say how you said it. Uh, never let it, not let it go, but be cognizant of, we should, just learn, we should learn from history. Yeah. L- realize that it's history. Realize where the people perpetrating went wrong. Yeah. Realize it, it, it and realize what we could do better. About but it, just, you know but I mean? just enjoy the time in it, in it. Well, that that that's what I, I mean. That's what I'm going to be getting to and, and now. I mean, mm-hmm. in today's day and age, how can we honor the memory? How can we right, how can we bring it? I mean, positivity one way or another. Facts. Because I was I was about to say, you know, like how black people say, oh, I want my forty acres and my mule. Yeah. Repartition. You know. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same thing for the turkey. You know, but yeah, I'm talking about. But yeah. well, they do part in the turkey these years though. Oh yeah. yeah so so I, I see. Yeah. I, I see you. Yeah. But um. Those are all fantastic points, by the way. <laughs> and I, yeah, I agree with y'all. And also, one thing, um, one way we should go about it is, you know, we understand the history of it, but let's still celebrate. Like, if we're gonna celebrate, let's celebrate properly. Like people said, just stop celebrating completely. Mm. Sure. Like you know, what I'm saying, like if we're gonna do it, let's say we, you know, honor the Native Americans in some way. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like you know, they, they, you know, it's a mass genocide happened to them. Mm. You know, show some respect to them on that day instead of, you know what I'm saying, just, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, like, like, try to turn it positive I mean, without, I, I, without, I, without throwing shadow I mean, over what actually that. happened. I mean, already, it's like, it's, it's what it means to you. You, you know what I'm saying? So some people, some people see the day as like a, a day of like, you know, family and just getting yes, together. Yes, exactly. And so and our culture kind of already molded around it to where, you know, People have the, that time off, and mm-hmm. you know, sport yeah. events are you know, certain things are happening. Is right, okay. So, you know, in the moment, we could we could enjoy it now. Mm-hmm. What I do think we should do also, though, is kind of celebrate the things that that kind of get erased, like you know, like Juneteenth and stuff like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I feel like we shouldn't let that stuff fiddle away because it's not mainstream. You know what I'm saying. We should. 
we should acknowledge those times too. But True. at the same time, like ta- things that are mainstream, we can't just like, you know, mm-hmm. not have fun or not like take advantage of, you know, life as it's happening because of history. Mm-hmm. Even, no, it, even though the history is, is what it is. Exactly. True. Yeah, it's important to be honest about what happened, like mm-hmm. completely honest. Like, yeah. That's what I think it is. A convers- like, the, the problem is the people who benefited mm-hmm. from that conquest Mm -hmm. are now the ones in a lot of positions of power in the country so that's what you would call old money yeah Yeah. and so well what you have is a biased point of view so you just have some people the the disenfranchised the people directly affected by it on one side Mm -hmm. who you have in these you know reservations camps whatever you want to call them you give them their money you give them their liquor and Mm -hmm. um and tell their story story differently yeah. 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 And, and, I see what you mean. And then, and then yeah. you know, the whole manifest destiny and all that stuff. Oh, just that's kind of glorifying. That's the, actually the switching the how they say it in, in, in oh. textbooks. Yeah, I saw yeah. that too. Yeah. 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 They kind of said, oh, they just kind of like gave it over. Yeah. They yeah. they oh, moved and, and, gave, and made way for. Made um, way for us. Yeah. 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 Things, et cetera, et cetera. I get what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, I think so. a, a true, honest history should be definitely presented. Yeah. To, to the masses. Yeah, but that goes beyond even the holiday. Yeah. yeah. That goes, like, between, like, education and, like, culture, really. Is, is this too woke, though? But that, that, woke? Uh, you see, no, no. no. It has to do with right why you know why it's not too woke? Because right. we're still stating facts. Yeah. These are things that happened. Mm. So you can't be woke. Like, it's the truth. Right. Whether you like it or not, it's the fucking truth. Or you want to say woke or not, this, right. still, this mm. thing still exists. Mm. I just acknowledge it. You don't. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's what people call too woke. Like, nah. And the, and the thing with being too woke, and, and it's like, it's with everything, man. And yeah. The the term ignorance is bliss is cliche for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If, that, yeah. Fake deep quote of the day, right? It's there. definitely where, true, yeah. though. Oh, speaking of where, fake deep no, quote, like if you, you know what I'm saying? If you like to eat a certain thing, don't figure out how it's made. Hey, you exactly. Know what I'm oh, please, if, yeah. if, please spare you yourself. If you got a hero. Don't meet the person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like certain things. Like when you find out the truth behind certain you'll things, you'll be disappointed. You'll be disappointed. Now that's with a lot of stuff. You might be. Yeah. You might be. Yeah. You it might be. Not be full, but yeah, it not be full. <laughs> but you know, there's a good. <laughs> you might. You be. might be. I feel like you can balance. You can balance that being happy and still knowing the truth. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's easy balance, but it's up to you if you want to. Mm-hmm. People 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 really feel like it's a burden to know too much. It. But it, it is. It can be. I mean, is it really? It, yeah. it can. It can. Yeah, it, it, can. Is. it can work them way there. Yeah. It could be. It, it you know, things a positive burden. Like depending on <laughs> what that even makes sense. Dep- depending, depending on yeah. what. If you side. knew what was in all your food, boy, you'd be in the house, just in the fetal position, rocking. Like, can I have something to eat? Like, I, mm-hmm. uh, somebody, I went. I ate. I, I kicked it with some people who um, meal prep for like a month or so. Mm-hmm. And everything was gluten free and X, Y, and Z. I got home and I was like, Lord, I can't eat a piece of bread. No. One name carbs. I never know nothing about no carbs. No, for real. I just ate to survive, Lord. Yeah, man. For real. But, um, (laughs) but yeah, oh, I wanted to quote uh, Mr. Uh, Sir Flocka of House Zulu. Yes. Mm -hmm. Being too woke will keep you from sleeping. Mm -hmm. First of his name. (laughs) First of his name. King of the. Snap on That's that. one of the Very illest quotes we've ever had. <laughs> King like, of easily. King of the Vandals. <laughs> <laughs> the Vandals. But I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Just the more, I don't know. You realize what's really bad for what's, you, what's and it kind of, I don't know. Your mind gets to working. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you start connecting dots, and you ever make up situations in your head? Yeah. Like you step, like I step onto the bus. And already ten scenarios running through my head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or the Metro Mover or the whatever. Like and I do this thing where I do this thing where I always have to have a, a somewhere to exit. Yeah. I always have to have an exit wherever the fuck That's I smart. go. Clear, and I'm looking stressful. like, all right, is that that wall's not too high. I can climb over, but I don't know what's on the other side. You know what I'm saying? Like You have to be prepared, man. Yeah. Word. Paranoia, fifteen hundred, go to the lawyer. Where mm-hmm. spe- speaking of people looking for exit, and what's that over there? Oh, snap, a transition. Dom, meet <laughs> Mill. Uh, yeah, that's smooth. I kind of looked over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm a boss. <laughs> I'm over, better. Yeah. Coming over the Himalayas. 
I can't believe we're actually watching this basketball game as it's happening. Oh, yeah, the Heat are oh, kicking yeah, the Celtics. The I thought right we were going to do something more constructive. Suck my dick. We all talk, right? What's it, 97? Wow. No, it's like, nine, it's like 100 now, right? Anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. this whole... Shout out. We podcast from Miami 305. Shout out. Yeah, word. Yeah. The 305 till I die. Stick I, and roll. So, um, and That's 876 cool. till I... Picks up sticks. All right. Um, <laughs> so Meek Mill <laughs> heard that one before. <laughs> Sentence oh, to it was two to four. Two to four. Two to four years. Two four to four years year for a parole violation. Yeah. That nigga. Yes. What? So we need to talk about this, like how disproportionate and how this the, this judicial system. I mean, like, all right, I've <laughs> I've heard arguments from both sides. People saying what he did did not, um, <laughs> what he did did not, you know, warrant you, such a punishment. Do you, do you go to a website called bothsides.com? That sounds like <laughs> that sounds like a straight gay porno website. <laughs> Thanks for the ill visual. Oh my! Yeah. You the one that fucking that yeah. that. for the bike. Like, come on, bike! I'm fucking sick of it. I, I side, thought of it as like a but website um, that gives you <laughs> both viewpoints on all popular everything, arguments. On everything. You're the one. Well, but you know, a lot of people, you get a lot of different opinions. But yeah, and it reveals a lot about people too. Yeah, mm. probably. Yeah. But anyway, same as thing, I was saying, same thing with the website you're you're talking about. You know, the more you stress this joke, the weaker it gets. What? Damn. Nothing. Um. Damn. So. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I'm trying to look. Hey, just just hold hold it. Hold the, the, because you know. Yeah, I know you about to go in, but hey, you no, 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 we can we can topic. fade when it's over. Yeah, that's it. Got I got some boxing face. gloves in my car trunk. Straight up. That's a lie. Okay. But we can fade. <laughs> all right. You know what? So we were on Meek Millie. Yeah. Meek Millie. All right. Yeah. People saying, you know, he violated probation, whatever, whatever, it's the law. Fisticuff. And then people say what he did did not warrant, you know, for them to react in such a way. Uh-huh. And the, um, that's what uh, Flaka Zulu is getting at, you know what I'm saying? If, if he violates parole this way, that way, or this many times, he goes to jail. Mm-hmm. Also, if you murder someone on camera, you go to jail. Right. So people say, you know, he's receiving this harsh punishment, and other people did worse things than receiving this light punishment, so mm-hmm. make up your fucking mind. Yeah, no, it, it, shows, it shows that, you know... The, it's it's not level. Yeah, yeah it's not level to, at all. If I knew it was the judge, mm. isn't there some sort of thing going on with the judge too? Like yeah, the judge I, knew um, him the back judge, in the day or some bullshit. Like yeah, that. and like he's she has to be in like a specific, song or something. Oh, he told him to like get on his knees and say something. I don't know how true that is. Also, you, you heard the other things that she said. What? That um. <laughs> He had to leave his record label, join her friend zone, or something like that. What? Yeah, like yeah. she came up with these ridiculous requests yeah. for him to not get this sentence. Like he, I, I, I'm sure one of them was get on your knees and either say a phrase or sing some song. I don't remember which one. What? That's yeah. fucking crazy. That well, of crazy. course he's not gonna do that. <laughs> Yo, shout out Meek Mills for holding yeah, his Meek own, Mills though. Is a real Taking dude. that form. He's a real. Yeah. Dude. And um, yeah, man, keep your head up. Whatever happens in this, I hope. That whatever investigate, oh, because I think they're appealing to have the case thrown out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. because yeah, of this. It should be, and it should be definitely. That's ridiculous. Yo. And if especially that's documented, you you have to throw this out. Yeah. This makes no sense. If he beats his case, his first single is gonna be "I Got My Appeal." You <laughs> <laughs> say that like a hundred times in three minutes and with a high pitched voice. Yeah. I got my appeal. <laughs> you know, you gotta come in. I'm back in my wheels. <laughs> you gotta come in real, real chill, though. You know, I'm looking I've been for fire. times like this, a time like that, a time like this. I got my appeal. <laughs> <laughs> I got my appeal. Boy, it's good to be shit. That build up. I was locked up, but not <laughs> legit. Oh, right. hey, I got my up here. This thought you was gonna switch it up on him. Hey, hey, is this live though? The podcast? Cause you don't want you don't y'all don't want to be his ghostwriter or not like that. Oh, oh, oh no no no. Me and my you talk about slip being too woke. Save, going save back these gems because oh. y'all out here throwing out the album. Hey, 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 me and my little brother still. If I hear this on the radio, I'm expecting the FBI that watching in the, in the mail. <laughs> That's it. So 
surprised. If I this mean, escapes, don't be surprised. That's all I'm saying. I mean, yeah. right. I just be <laughs> hey, shout out to shout out to the FBI listening to the podcast and yeah, add man. it to our listener count. I know it's gonna get to meat mill eventually. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, I mean meat mill. I got places. my appeal. Or, see that rhymes. <laughs> Featuring yo, but you'll see us in the credits. <laughs> if there's guests to you. Hit us up, man. <laughs> yeah, we'd love that, yo, on the podcast. Just or, like, yeah, just yeah. to chill. We'll burn SNTV one. I mean, when you're not in trouble with the law. Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah. When you're not on that paperwork. <laughs> For real. You know what? That also kind of touches on what our illustrious guest kind of does. Mm. One, one of the many facets he touches on. Right. Mm. Mr. Paul Morris, everyone. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Singer, songwriter, <sighs> photographer, videographer, graphic designer. Word. Put me to work. Oh, my God. Style oh. icon and also dancer. Where it's stylist, he'll do your braids. Oh, right. my God. <laughs> oh no! And also <laughs> booty massager lady, <laughs> <laughs> and mm-hmm. cold. Got his sticky fingers. Uh huh. Hey. Mr. <laughs> Morris is an honorary Swiss Army nigga. Yes, yeah. he is. Yeah. Swiss Definitely. Army nigga. He does his own. Swiss, Swiss Army nigga. All right, that's it. Swiss Army nigga. So yes, our illustrious guest, the Swiss Army nigga. The real Paul Morris. Right. Thank you guys for having me, man. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for being here. Yes, sir. Thanks for being here. Now, give the people a little, you know, background on yourself, you know. Right. So, crazy thing is, man, the, all these people who are surra- I'm surrounded by, I done grew up with. So, it's just an honor to see everybody chasing their dreams and moving forward and doing great things, man. I'm seeing logos and caps and, and, and my, my dude, uh, you know, Push me back to the back right quick. My boy <laughs> Stallion, man, he's out here on cruises doing his comedy. I'm seeing I'm seeing my boy, all these guys. Like, if you see the setup, uh-huh. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're going to see the setup because we, yeah. we got visuals. On our uh-huh. used to. You know, used multifaceted to. around here. But <laughs> I grew up with these guys. I'm in a church setting, actually, uh, most of them. Mm. Um, we used to, you know, just kick it, church camp, while out and get problems. Mm. Shout out small group. Right, right. Drew oh, House, Drew House. Damn, right. no. Hey, shout out to Lawrence. Yo. Yeah, Lawrence. Yeah, <laughs> um, shout out to, oh, sorry, Chevy. <laughs> shout out to Chevy. But yeah, man, I started out in church just doing music, um, singing on the choir, things of that nature. And, um, you know, it just opened up little doors here by just communicating and, and networking and talking to people. Mm. Ended up on a couple of different tours, seen like 14 different countries within the last four years. Mm. Cool. I, uh, sang with some dudes like um, who sang with like Barry White and Tyler Perry, hey, and Brian Dross and all type of man. I don't even yo. It's been crazy. Like I went. I'm a black man in like Peru and Ecuador and yes. and Finland and Poland and Sweden. And I remember they li- what they asked me for my autograph, and I'm like, you don't even know who I am. Yeah. <laughs> you was just black. They that's thought you were somebody awesome, famous. Right? That's fucking crazy. awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's just a... I, I can't tell you some of the, the experiences, man. I, um, they locked off the, the top floor so I can use a jacuzzi, dog. What? Bruh. I, and I'm looking over the city. Yo, it's just... W- where was this? This was... This was Ecuador. Wow. And, and, the, and the hotel followed me. By the time I even make it home, the, ho- the hotel was following me. So imagine, nice. I was like, how did they even figure out who I am, you know? Yeah. Mm. So I mean, give, give God thanks. I'm still trying to Amen. figure yes. out that journey. But I mean, you know, I mean, things happen. But all in all, I grew up around some talented young men like this. Likewise, likewise. And, and, and you just build it. Yeah. yeah. Word. Nice. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Word, man. And we... Like through it's 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 funny you bring that up, um, cause just like through our journeys and kind of like finding what we do and doing what we do, we kind of like intertwined and like you know had joint stuff yeah. together. <laughs> Right. Yeah. yeah. What you mean? Little snacks throwback. on snacks. Where? Snacks on snacks. <laughs> Yo, go on YouTube and check that out. Snacks on snacks on snacks. Where? That was quality. It was. Quality. Slash bars. It was. It right was. There. This was. This was. This was a, a while back. It was 2008. Wow. It was back when I had the mohawk. This was. <laughs> right. yeah. Yo, I, I feel like if I share it on Twitter, that shit might go viral. It, it, yeah. It Again. Just might. Wait, wait. Did it? Go, well, no. That one. So, I'm trying to tell you, like these young men who are who I'm around right now. 
like when you just put oh, yeah, I wasn't playing a vision. Yeah, oh. a vision. And I know I know it sounds retarded, it sounds simple. Right. But imagine if we had applied that to something else. I might we we met at Bible study one night, right? Uh-huh. And we and, and Andrew, Mr. Andrew Lawrence, because I don't want I don't want to say the thing and not shout him out and get sued. Right. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but he was like, yo man, there's some visionary stuff, man. I'm seeing some stuff in the UK and they're just laying on their face, man. And we're gonna what? do that, we're gonna go viral, right? right? What is it called? Planking, man. Oh, he yeah. said, yo, we're going to do this. Um, he said this like Wednesday. He said, we're going to link up when the Spider-Man movie, the new Spider-Man movie. Oh, was oh like yeah. Shot, which was I, like Friday. Wow. We went in there like 20 people deep. Yeah, it was a lot of Just dropping like flash. Doop, 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 doop. I Everybody saw that playing. video. Oh. World star. So we video got, world. We yeah. got home like two days later. Yeah. It went viral. And then every black yo. man in the world wanted to plank. So I'm not, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yo, did, um, did I tell you the story how that happened? What, what? Hold up, no. Movie code. This, um, no. no, 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 he's right. Everything we hit, oh. I'm not tripping. I'm not trying no, to no, take no, no. glory, but, but no, after no, no, we no, plank, no. World, it, world Star Hip Hop plank video, the plank video. Plank yeah, video. yeah. No, no, that's yeah. true. Because, yeah, you were, you were, yeah. We're, well, no, no, no. Side note, when, when we actually did it in the movie theater, right. the ticket ripper guy took a quadruple take. I swear to God. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. never seen so. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> you look four fucking times. Yeah. Yeah. After the podcast, we'll watch it. I'll show you. That's y'all. funny. Oh, but um, so this is when I was working <laughs> at AutoZone. I was delivering, you know, oh, car parts, man. whatever. And I checked my Twitter, and somebody put LMAO. This nigga, Illmatic. Oh, my, my name was Illmatic three hundred five at the time, mm. instead of dramatic. And um, this nigga on World, so I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like, I, I thought the worst. Yeah. I was like, did I get beat up? <laughs> yeah. Is this a sex video? <laughs> yeah. somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck about World Star? <laughs> <laughs> and I clicked it. It said planking at, at uh, what's the movie title? Code. It planking like, at movie code. I was like, yeah. Nigga, I almost crashed the truck into the store. <laughs> <laughs> because I was pulling up and I parked the shit that I ran to the back to get on my phone. So I could see me. I'm like, yo. This shit's on my world I called call Lawrence first. Wow. I said, dog, that shit's on fucking world star. He was like, what? All right. I'm going to check on that shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that crazy. shit was wild. It was famous overnight, man. <laughs> Visionary. Yeah, that shit was crazy. But uh, I mean, if y'all haven't noticed, I gave him quite a few titles. Right, uh, right, right. Yeah, can you can you share with the people how you how you managed to I don't know to juggle them? Yeah. So everything is um everything is like one movement. Like you're trying to go to some place, but mm. like a tree has branches, right? Mm-hmm. So I love music, and uh, every music person needs a photographer. They need a videographer. Mm-hmm. They need a publicist. They need somebody who can edit. They need da 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 And I had, a, I had a, a really strong team at one point, and I would learn from everybody on the team so that if any time life takes one of them and they have to do what they have to do, I can do it. So I learned how to shoot a video for myself. I learned how to take pictures. And when I would do those type of videos like Snacks on Snacks with Cam Grant and everything, and I, I, me and him shot and I edited, and they like, yo, who did that? I did that. Boom, now I got work. Mm-hmm. When I go on, when I went on my first tour, I went on my tour in Europe as a as a singer in the choir. And then they found out I could rap. And then I ended up going and then from there on break I shot a music video. And they was like, Who the hell shot a shot a music video? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like and I was like, I shot a music video and then I shot a commercial for them. Mm-hmm. So then that's that one tour turned up to be like five tours because one person said we need a rapper for this tour. Then the next person said, "Hey, I need a videographer to f- travel to me, travel with me to the British Virgin Islands, which was a Shayla, Mrs. Shayla Shanae. Thank you, because she gave me a lot of opportunities. Shout out, shout out. Right, and um, and then Barry, which is like he's like he used to sing with um the Platters and all these guys, and mm-hmm. he, he 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 constructs orchestras and he travels all the, around the world. He's like he's older. I'm not going to throw his." You know, years out there. But imagine I'm the youngest guy with like dudes in their sixties and whatnot. It it was such a problem that I was so young. They were really <laughs> good. they were like they were like um they, I don't wanna, they had to they had to say I was like the child of um some <laughs> famous person in the back in the day because oh yeah, because it was like yo how's this baby Vic face? Vic Junior. Right. right. I was yeah. like the junior of, of some some famous platter or something like that. Sydney Party A Junior. Right? But, <laughs> I mean, all of all of those um, different talents um, stem from me trying to go towards one goal, and I I give thanks for all of them because they open up doors. The what I want to do is you know do music and travel and see the world, and I got to do a little bit of it all. 
Well, Mr. Mr. Stallion himself, he's a comedian, <laughs> right? Um, but at the same time, he's making you guys laugh on this radio station. And we got we got people who design clothes. We got people who, for the visuals, they looking fresh in mm-hmm. their raw tit shirts and all those Ooh. things. You know what I'm talking about? Bullet. Another plug. Bullet. Mm. Bullet. Right. It's so um, yeah, man. I just believe in and just using all our talents and, and and making it to that end goal. You never. It may take two years. It may take twenty two years, but mm-hmm. we're still striving. Huh? Word, Never word. That's what I like it's to hear, bro. Perseverance. Don't word. give up. Word. I, I don't want to say, too, like, I learned a lot of stuff just from, like, rolling with you, like, you know, over the years and, like, the stuff that we, we worked on together. And it's like, um, you taught me, like, look, if you don't have someone to do something for you, you need to learn it yourself. Mm-hmm. And Absolutely. Do it for yourself. <laughs> so, mm. yeah, yeah, big up to you, dog. Like, like you somebody I see, like, real ha- has, like, that real work ethic and that drive that, that that's going to... That's gonna get you places. Yeah, my love. And respect, bro. yeah, agreed, yeah, agreed. Yeah, definitely. And it's quality material too. Like I saw you perform at FIU at Florida International University before, and a few years back. And I, I didn't at the time. I, I knew who you were, but I didn't know you did music because I saw you around them. Mm-hmm. And and then you were like, yeah, you know, I'm here, you know, chilling. <laughs> it was like before the show hey. at a CSA show. And then next thing you know, Paul Morris is on stage with a band oh. rapping. <laughs> yeah, he showed up. Oh, it was shit, they got real. Yo, <laughs> it was dope. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was for the opening up for Egyptian. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That never yes. showed yes. yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, let shout me tell you. Egyptian. And, and that, that's a testament to how, how good um, Paul did. Because Egyptian was supposed to there supposed to be there and Paul was supposed to open for Egyptian but Egyptian didn't show up mm. so it was just Paul but Holy then like shit. Paul like he shut the he show kept going. down so well that people and and like it was Paul and then we had a we had the after party like people didn't even mind Egyptian wasn't there yeah you know what I'm saying and it was like it was vibes. yeah it was that's a, what's up and, yeah. and most up. and most people didn't know who Paul was like I was because yeah. I watched things like I remember I was on the side like mm. by the front of the stage too, mm. and I was just sitting, and I'm watching everybody and their reactions, and I'm like, wow, they're like genuinely getting into his music, and that's not easy to do, man. Yeah, that's not an easy thing to do to 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 get people to grip people in when no when a lot of people just don't, don't know, know who you are, just off the strength of the music and what you're saying and the, your interactions, the energy with the crowd. So, yeah, man, it was it was a dope performance, man. Definitely, man. Love yeah. and respect, man. I, I, didn't, I didn't even realize that at the time. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm open up for Egyptian. Yeah. <laughs> but, but everything did run, like, smooth. Like, we was partying, everybody enjoyed it. It wasn't like, no, because, and I, I don't want to, sh- I don't want to, um, you know. But Egyptian <laughs> pulled up quite a few no-shows, because I went to Atlanta. Oh, yeah? Too, mm. And he didn't show up to that you one. You lie. So you need to tighten up. Shame. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> could be the promoters. Yeah, the promoters probably do. You know what, yeah. So Overbooking? Could, uh, Overbooking, who knows? Yeah, so who we knows? Know who yeah, because they claim he missed his flight, and da 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 Who knows what the deal is? What the deal was. But, yeah. but everything turned out good, man. And, and Egyptian is still thriving. So love and respect to you, boss. Word, word, word. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah, man. So, <laughs> yeah, but I've seen, I've seen, I've seen Paul. We, we've, we've like explored. We've, we've seen some crazy stuff. I've mm-hmm. been some crazy places. I had some crazy experiences from like, you know, going from p- going to perform somewhere and end up, you know, at a strip club at, at fight night. Man. I'm Paul performing. <laughs> oh yeah! Paul. Oh, I forgot about Damn. that. Paul right. club performance. Paul, yeah, what? Paul, <laughs> yeah, Paul performing <laughs> like pretty much like Christian hip hop in a strip club. In a strip club. I told that boy don't do it because I'm yeah. gonna I'm, I'm gonna drop some gospel on these girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the strip club. In the middle. Do it for real? In the middle of the fighting ring. Like oh. on their fight night. That's some yeah. serious stuff. But that how you gonna boy. drop it? Hey, yeah. that's what's up though. You ready to perform? You know what I mean? You gotta well, be ready to perform that, anytime. Any, any anytime. Place. So that man, uh, I'm not even gonna say no name. Yeah, don't say his name. Say don't get shot. But he's nah, ain't, <laughs> ain't no pressure. Don't get like clapped. Yeah, right? ain't no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna get, we're not gonna we give him no promotion. Yeah, so. but yeah, the man said, um, yo, we gonna be performing in the middle of a boxing ring, Ray Tay Tay, da da da. So we reached there. And I see some purple and pink lights. I'm like, oh. <laughs> 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 I'm uncomfortable. Right. So we get in there and it's nothing but strippers. And I was like, bro, 
I told this dude what I do, and I'm not, I'm not gonna <laughs> change it. That's where I am. And, and it was crazy because I was singing gospel music in in a strip club, and the girls them kind of slid down the pole a little bit slower. <laughs> Stop what they was doing and kind of, you know, they was like vibing. I had people still buy CDs. Mm. Um, and, wow. And, and, the girls them, yeah, and the girls them still came over, and they That's was like, so that, that was real good, and that reminded me of X, Y, and Z when I used to be here in church at Ray Pepe. That's so, so yeah, real, I for, man. I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. That's crazy. Like, you can't forget about that. Yeah. Yeah. Was, I was like, this is going to take a dark turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember when we left church and we went to the script club. Snitched on your boy. They went there to evangelize. Right. You, you might have clarified no. that. You might have you might have messed up a few what? pimps' did, money. Did, did he did he tell us that was work? <laughs> no, he didn't yeah, because he, he kind of he snuck he, that on us. Because he was, was like, because we we went to, um, <laughs> we went he to, went to an open mic. Yeah, you know, at, in at, downtown Miami. Yeah, at, at Playhouse. Yeah. I think it was called. Yeah, not wow. the Playhouse, not the strip club. Oh, not okay, the strip it was club, a Playhouse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's there. All, yeah. it's there. all type of Dog, had all you type of Christian rap. At, in a in the strip club. <laughs> in the strip club. Well, yeah, that was a minute ago because I remember I, I had to I had to um I had to pay the the security some money because I wasn't twenty one yet. Oh wow! To get it, yeah, to, to perform get, to perform. Ain't that? I didn't even get crazy. on stage, bro. <laughs> yeah, that was what? Perfect. That was just like the, so. You just paid to go to the show. Yeah, That's but then it was a good show. <laughs> a good oh, I bet it was. And I, I, I met some people. <laughs> that, it better have hey. been. I met <laughs> some fuck? people that 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 I learned some stuff from. Uh-huh. That's yeah. what's up. You always yeah. gotta learn from, you know, people in your experiences. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yo, but um Paul just <laughs> Mr. Morris to say you're versatile is an understatement. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like this nigga can shoot, sing, edit his own music video. He do everything involved <laughs> everything, with the video. Everything you know what I mean? you know, Including hiring niggas to come. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, yo, come through, I got some sandwiches. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. So I brought the sandwiches hey, on one, deck, you know? One time. Hey, Everybody ain't good. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna pay you, but I'll feed you, blood. It was clutch, right, 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 clutch. I'm on the facts, way. Facts, right. Don't worry, the money soon come. Money soon come. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Everything in due time. Yes, sir. Look so, out for that uh, TPSG and Real Paul Morris collab. Oh, yeah, no, we we gonna have them on the album. So yeah. Y'all gonna look out for that. Yeah, um, is there anything you're currently working on? Any, any projects you hold dear? Yeah, right man. Now. So I've been like kind of like holding on to everything. I'm learning how to kind of like let go of things because mm-hmm. I have a lot of different stuff that I've been working on. But um, I, I recently I released um, a project I probably like a year or so ago, whatever. I released a project called Square One, which is like basically starting over type deal. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, <clears throat> it's a it's a like a gospel or Christian. I don't know what we call it, but it's. It's inspired by by my walk, right? Okay. Okay. And it was produced by my friend Ty Shane Thompson, who won two Grammys um, recently. Give thanks. Shout Ooh. out! Shout, shout out. out to him. Okay. Wow. Okay. He That's what's up. The crazy yeah. project, Meek Mills, and all these great oh, wow. people. That's right? live. Yeah. That's live. That's fun. Yeah. So it's some really great production on there. Hopefully, some great work from me as well. And right now, I'm working on an R&B project because I've been in my feelings, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You know, well, I did, so do be like, that now yeah. you played us a little preview. Right, that right. it sounded it, it sounded yeah. incredible, honestly. Thank you, thank you. So y'all can go get your candles and, and <laughs> bed bath and beyond and whatnot, ladies. <laughs> and um, yeah, vibe to it. Um, I am the real Paul Morris at everything. Um, the real Paul Morris <laughs> on Instagram, Facebook, uh-huh. YouTube. I think I still have a website up. I don't know. I'm gonna <laughs> go check that out. But um, yeah, I'm working on that. And um, there's been some talks of another tour. And this one, um, amazingly, I, I'm more excited about actually performing in the United States than overseas. So this is my hmm. first chance to perform in my home base, like okay. in Washington and New York and all those things for Dope. the summer. So, you know, y'all keep me in prayer on that one. Indeed. Um, but that should be cool, you know. So, yeah. That's what's up, yo. That's what's up. You staying yeah. busy. You staying busy. Staying busy. Uh, and I hopefully, hopefully these, you know, put your name a little oh, bit of a, a little, a yeah, bigger yeah, of a light, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you, you know. Definitely. Word. Everything in due time. You know it's going to happen. That's why you're so patient, you know. Word. So, yes, y'all keep an eye out for Paul Morris. Right. Mm-hmm. Word. You, y'all, that's the real name. Paul Morris, the not the fake one. Y'all can word. give away my government, but I can't give away y'alls. You know what I'm saying? But, but, see, but, but you see, that's what. <laughs> but isn't it your Instagram name? 
True, true, true. Yeah. I gave away my government. I, I'm about to say. I'm about to say. My man raised a snitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say, don't say your government. Right, man. Your government. I'm, 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 I mean, but, um, um, they don't know my set name. But, <laughs> Mr. The Real Mark Paul Morris, right, right. we appreciate you. We appreciate you, you coming on here, yes, sharing your story, your uh, vibes, your heartwarming, you know, experiences with your music and your talents and everything. Right. Appreciate right. you. Right. Yeah, that was an excellent outro, bro. I try, man. You know, <laughs> big right. the, uh, out, the, the outro school located in Brickell. Where? 16th. <laughs> <laughs> and, but, it, but who is that, though? Who that? Which direction who am I looking boy? in? To your, to your inner self. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, stay woke. Yeah. It's dramatic. Hey, but before we go, quick uh, promo. Geekland store. Yes, sir. Hit them mm. up. They got all your geek <laughs> supply. Absolutely. And use the, uh, the code TBSG to get twenty percent off your order. Uh huh. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. I, I and, guys, um, and be sure to give us a five star rating, please, yes. on iTunes, SoundCloud, anything that you could. We rate deserve a heart. it. Yes. Like love, mm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Make sure Obsessed. you follow us on um, <laughs> Twitter, Instagram, TPSG Podcast, SoundCloud. You can just Google us because we're hashtag Googleable. Hey. Show. And you will be like the first fifteen choices. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. Shout out to you know our audience member. Hey, hey. <laughs> they are well, waving. Around. We yes. appreciate her. That was so lovely. And um, shout out who kid. Yeah. See, that's Ooh. who should have been lovely. Ooh. <laughs> who can? Who can? No, 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 that was late. That was <laughs> late. You uh, lovely guy. Now I put it on me. <laughs> oh, damn. damn. Shout out. They're not letting that one go, man. Damn. Uh, <laughs> Shout out Cam G, uh, Cam G Productions. All right. Bop, bop. Bop. What's, what's good with the Rotted on the table, though? Oh, yeah. Shout out Rotted. Bop, bop. Rotted.co. And that's R A A T I D uh-huh. dot C O. And they also oh, take send, send send the real Paul Moore some hats because them things is fire. Oh, <laughs> especially the bad mind one. Hey, hey. Yeah. that was a yeah. self. Might be able to make something happen. <laughs> Might be able to. <laughs> Indeed. Oh shit, real Paul Moore is raw titty collab. I'm, yeah. I'm with it already. Yeah. That's limited hey. edition shit, bro. Yeah, hey, that's that's another thing in the works, man. I'm, I may be doing a dance video um, with Raw. Yeah. Hey. I saw I saw I saw the the little bit behind the scenes the the Bruins of that. Working that's what's up. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. That's what's uh, up. Mm-hmm. And as you see, everything is working at right. TPSG. Right. Yeah. Oh, yes. And it's because of myself, Dramatic, a- a.k.a. Wade Chappelle. Don't nobody care about you. A.k.a. Loud Pack Chopper. And it's also because of... <laughs> oh, okay. This is this guy, <laughs> Flaka Zulu, a.k.a. Sir Black Stallion III, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich. And today, I guess, it has something to do with you know, Dr. Sticky Fingers, a.k.a. <laughs> Professor Nuts, a.k.a. <laughs> Who did it? I got a guy did it. Oh, and I'm going to keep it civil for the outro. It's your boy, David Bomay, a.k.a. Chico Fantastico, the boy wonder. And you know who it is. It's your boy, Ice Cream Black, a.k.a. Shabby Ranks, a.k.a. <laughs> Swiss Army <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Swiss Army <laughs> Nigga. And that Swiss Army Nigga. <laughs> I don't know I'm a nigga. And that's I'm a nigga. And that And that is a podcast. And that hey, is a podcast. Don't forget to stay woke, man. Yeah. yeah. Don't be afraid to be that friend. That friend. Yeah, don't that be afraid friend. to be that friend. Seriously. Oh, here he come. Yes, here I come with more fucking truth. More right. truth. I'm a I truther. Come. I'm not I, pre- I appreciate y'all for listening. Yes. One love. One love. Peace. Love. Chicken, Chicken grease. Always. In the Middle East. Yeah. And make sure you smoke a spliff. Yeah, sure. 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 And rub yourself and rub the booty. Fat booty. Big and fat. Right. See you next week. Time to catch the itis. <laughs>